February 24th, 2018. This video is called Critically Dangerous Fission Fears at Fukushima. Now, there have been far too many self-serving assumptions made by operator about the conditions within the four reactors. The assumption is the cores are all subcritical as designed and installed by the utility. The detection of short-lived fission daughters indicates the assumptions are wrong and that the cores are critical. I'm going to show you some screen captures of the live TEPCO cam at night and I'm going to show you they look like little Christmas lights popping all over the screens and everybody a couple people say you know those are the pixels that are um, bad pixels on the camera but if they were bad pixels they would always be in the same spot and all these spots are random now this was taken in July of last year the old ones I'm going to show you and the new ones I'm going to show you were just a uh, screen capture just the other day and to me, they look like they're actually brighter now than they used to be. Now, I counted 28 beams. I captured the video for about an hour and 40-something minutes. And you could do it yourself and try to find them because you, you will always probably find one between a, every five or seven minutes. Sometimes they come sooner. Totally random. At weekends, Ayaka is allowed to play outside, but only once her father has checked the radiation in the street. Now, the one I got off of is off of Unit 1, and these are the, the pictures of Unit 1, and you tell me that there is something definitely wrong with that reactor. It blew to the sky. Now look, at it just is basically not even a, a frame or a shell anymore. There's basically, it's like a burned out car on the side of the road. Look at the mangled mess. 
Now, they cleaned all this stuff up. But if you notice on the TEPCO cam, there's no one ever working there because the, the radiation levels are just off the hook. Now, this is probably what happened is the core is in the ground and it's eating its way through the ground. Now, I think this is what proves that these little... Uh, blinking lights is proof that it's radiation. I came across this video. Someone commented and said that my theory is plausible, and he left this video of this Rad Solution company, and it's a demonstration of the effects of radiation on commercial video camera. Now watch this. I think they're the same little spots that you pick up on the TEPCO cam. See this stuff? They're picking up the neutrons on the on the video camera see them right in here these little specks except on the tepco cam they're different colors and i'm kind of thinking maybe they're it might be different isotopes will give a different color that's just another theory now this is the hour and 44 minutes of the live cam so you can hardly see them when you're going, but what I do is I put it on a two times, and all of a sudden you'll see a little pop. So let's go to the first one is at 127. See it right here? It's a green one. Next one is at 251. That one looks like a purplish one right here. Doesn't this one, this is a pretty big one. This one looks darker, like a white pink. There it is over here. Like a pink one. There's one over there. There's one over here. There's one over here. There's a green one. There's a double red one. There's another green one. There's one over here. There's one over here. Looks like a baby blue. There's another green one.
There's one over here. There's one over here. There's a red one over here. There's another red one. One over here. One over here. There's a red one over here. See how bright they are? There's one here. There's one. This one's lighter because I think it's in this uh, smudge that's on the lens. There's one over here. There's one there. There you go, right above the reactor here. There's one right there in the smudge. Right there, baby blue. There's a green one. And if it was the pixel, why would there be like this little aura around it? And last but not least, right there, this is a double whammy, a two for one. You got one over here, and you got one over here. The camera is picking up these uh, isotopes, and I think they couldn't have said it better in this article here get a group of international nuclear experts onto the site and have them determine what actually is taking place so the appropriate steps can be taken send the Japanese military in there or someone's got to invade Japan because this is a slow march to death for the planet and it's seven years going into it and by the time you know it it's going to be 10 then 20 will there be 50 years after Fukushima I hope so but I wouldn't bet on it 